Hi everyone, good afternoon to all of you guys. Hi Man Heng, Bian, Chung Hao, El Alam, Samuel, Jamil, Jin Yi, Sardar, Hi Tina, Jun Yu, Dinesh, Sutij, Uzma, Vivin, Asfar, Hi Shami, Hao Zhaozheng. How are you guys doing today? As far as okay, that's good. That's good. Wonderful. Usman's good. I'm okay. Thank you, Usma. Sir's good. Hi, Saan. Good afternoon. Tina is good. I'm okay, Tina. Thank you for asking. Hassan's great. Are you excited, guys? Chung Hao's doing good, good. Oh, as far as hungry, having a headache. Okay, okay. I hope you get your food quickly. Are you guys excited? This is your last week. Last class. All right. It shows your accomplishment that you are you're almost done with your foundation. Okay. As of... Um, EAP, <coughs> sorry, for EAP guys, uh, you have completed your group assignment. Congratulations on your completion of the group assignment. You can give yourselves a pat on your back and say, well done, my child. All right, uh, good, yeah, guys, uh, you, you completed your assignment. Um, everyone has done their best. I believe, yeah, and um, I'm sure, I'm sure that um, you you will learn some stuff, right, from the good, from the bad, from from other people's strengths and weaknesses. Okay, so that that was your fifty percent, all right, for for the coursework for the group assignment, okay, which uh, saw how you handled a group, how you managed a group right um thought about a topic thought critically about the topic yeah not just simply thinking about it thought critically about it looked for resources um to support whatever ideas that you have in your mind and presenting them okay so it was a process and you went through the process and i hope it it, it serves as a good fundamental for your um other subjects hopefully yeah all right guys now uh we need to discuss your remaining 50 percent right so as was uh, agreed upon in class last week the alternative assessment will be given today yeah because uh, at least you won't have classes next week right um and and you will have more time to complete the assignment without too many distractions all right so um just a moment. He doesn't want to share. Please share. Please share. Okay, shared. All right, for your alternative assessment, right? How many percent is your alternative uh, assessment, guys? Are you are you aware of all that? I hope you are. Maybe. For your alternative assessment, it is the remaining. Yeah, your group assignment was 50%. So your alternative assessment is also 50%, right? So um, why is there alternative assessment? Because um, you, you don't have a final exam. We can't have final exams, right? Uh, due to the pandemic and you guys are in all sorts of locations, different countries, right? So uh, the, the option here is to conduct an alternative uh, method of assessing. All right. Uh, it's being done worldwide. All right. So uh, you can see it here. 
I have noticed yeah that some of you I have uh, tried my best to to do some things to make it more interesting it was very dry before this. Um, some of you have never logged into your Moodle, yeah. I, I, when I saw the list of participants, I was shocked because some of you have never, ever, ever, ever logged into your Moodle. I hope you know the existence of it. All right. Okay. So um, everything that you need is here. Okay. Everything that you need is here. I will explain uh, all this to you guys. Okay. So um, for the for this section here, your summative assessment, uh, you have completed this group assignment questions and submissions. So uh, the, the feedback for this, once once I have gotten the chance to actually sit down and uh, put in the feedbacks into Moodle, I will notify you once it's ready. Give me a week or two at least, yeah? So uh, that, what, that one, you don't think about it already. For your alternative assessment uh, questions and submission, <coughs> that is what you'll be seeing here. OK, so this folder uh, consists of four things. Yeah, and then uh, I've also labeled them according to number. OK, the first thing we'll look at is. OK, your allocation set allocation. All right, so I've got a whole lot of word documents open here. All right, uh, so we've got a few. We have four sets. OK, four sets. Um, um of of questions yeah this were prepared i'm just executing yeah all right uh, i just uh modified this make it look more presentable so um out of the four sets you will only use one set okay uh you will have to go based on your numbers here okay and the colors all right but please refer to this first yeah you will refer to these tables to see which set you'll be required to use for your alternative assessment. Please, guys, no changing sets or no exchanging sets with one another. All right. So you are strictly asked to follow this set. Uh, it is not to inconvenience you. Yeah, it is to help you especially for summary writing, because we don't want your similarity to be uh, the percentage to be too high. If all almost 100 of you are doing the same summary writing, uh, your similarity might increase. So this is to help you decrease the similarity. OK, so if you are your name falls under this yellow set here, set one. OK, this this is where you belong. All right, you have to follow set one. If you are blue here, set two. OK, names from number 21 until 40. Uh, if your name is here, <clears throat> set three green. All right, 41 until number 60. OK, and then if you are set four, this pinkish orangish color, um, I'm just I just call it pink. Uh, if you're number 61, right until the na last name here, number 87. All right, so four sets here. OK. This is individual work. No discussing nothing. Treat this as if this is your final exam because it sort of is like a final exam, right? Like it's, it's your final assessment. Do it yourself. DIY. All right no discussing nothing whatever you know whatever you understand whatever you find that's what you write that's what you submit okay so now that you know your sets okay uh, later of course you can look for your names yeah look for your names in in moodle all right the documents there now i can explain to you one by one sardar one by one yeah it's also on moodle already the question paper. All right. The sets, right, guys, is mainly for the summary. OK, the essay is the same. OK, so let's just see set one first, yeah, because the instructions are the same. OK, so the assignment is aimed to reflect your critical thinking skills, your ability to utilize cognitive skills so that 
you know, we can see how you discuss current issues, do critical analysis, all right, and suggest uh, solutions that are effective, okay, all based on whatever topic that you do, all right. So hopefully you are able to infer, all right, your written text to, to show, all right, to articulate your opinion or your argument, um, in, in this case, especially written form, okay. So important requirements important plagiarism not encouraged if this this sounds so nice right i say not allowed all right you're not allowed to plagiarize okay it should not exceed 30 percent the percentage similarity percentage uh guys have you submitted any assignments all right um other subjects for example and have you learned uh, the function of turn it in, guys? Okay, you have learned the function of turn it in, right? Good. So I need not. Um, you have seen it. Okay, you have seen it. Good. But uh, the purpose of it, um, how how it can help you uh, with your writing and all that. Yeah, I hope you know the function. All right. So when we say the plagiarism percentage, um, like I said, this, this was just given. Normally it is similarity percentage, yeah? Your similarity percentage should not exceed 30%, all right? If it is found to be more than 30%, you may be required to redo your, assign your assignment subject to investigation, all right? Uh, if you have copied from a resource there's one group I need to speak to one student copied one slide. All the contents were copied from from some source. All right. When I was looking through the the what I forgot to bring it up with the group. So um, if you have situations where things are copied from an online material are copied from each other, you are doomed, yeah, guys. OK, don't copy use the right conventions of writing. We have gone through paraphrasing. We have gone through uh, synthesizing. All right. Uh, I may seem very firm now, guys, because this is a serious matter. OK, I, I don't want it's not that I want to put you off in the last class, but guys, I take this very seriously. I hope you do as well. Yeah, no fooling around, no copying, please, 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 please. All right, the consequences, guys, you don't want to go through the consequences of being investigated, being called by by the exam unit, all right, the head of department and all these kind of people. They will ask you questions. Why did you do it? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, I don't want my students to go through all that. I, I don't like being in those meetings as well. So you guys, please produce original work. OK, can you guys give me an assurance that you will produce original work? You will use proper citations, references. Can I can I get you guys saying yes, miss? I will. Can cannot. Good. Everyone is like obey. Yes, good. It's not for my benefit, yeah, guys. You, okay? It's you, because once you have, um, in your record, every student has like a record, like a file. Once you are, um, caught for doing such a thing like cheating in an exam, plagiarizing, all right, um, it's already in your record and it will carry on yeah in, in your your university so uh keep it clean all right keep your record clean do what you can do it's always better to just pass for example than being caught for something like this like plagiarizing yeah i always say that do what you can do originally honestly okay so those who have given me the assurance, I thank you very much. And at least you will make sure you keep your work 
original. All right. So your work will be submitted through Moodle, okay, 22nd of July. So meaning like if tomorrow onwards, right, you have uh, one full week, all right, day and night, you have enough days, more than enough days, right? It's something like if in an exam, you might only have, have one and a half hours to write. Here you have seven days to write, okay? All right, so your question here. Your individual assessment has two parts. Part one is your summary writing of an article. Part two, argumentative essay writing. Okay. Both these parts in total carry 50%. Okay. And for you to be able to complete your work with excellence, you need to read and also understand what the assignment requires you to do. All right, so let's look at part one first. Okay, part one. Summary writing, which is worth 20%. All right, so uh, for all the four sets, okay, for all the four sets, the, the summary is the different one. Right, set one has a different summary writing, set two different, three different, and set four has a different passage for you to summarize. All right, so um, instructions here. You will read the article carefully, okay? And prior to you writing your summary, all right, you may probably need to look up, right, search for certain terms or certain concepts that you you may not be familiar with, all right? Uh, they are difficult words or jargons or whatever. The good thing is that you you are doing it like an assignment, right? You, you can refer to a dictionary, you can refer to a thesaurus, okay, to uh, find out meanings of things that you don't know, okay? You will have to summarize the article that's provided for you and your, your summary will be about 100, 100 plus words okay marking scheme eh, why did i even close this okay your marking scheme how will you be assessed here open la. Yes, Sardar, if you finished, you have finished something that is of good quality. Yes, you may. Yeah? Okay, so how will you be assessed? Okay, you will be assessed on four things. One is your topic sentence. All right. Uh, how you organize your content. Okay. How long your summary is. Okay, and uh, your sentence structures. Do they make sense? Did you use suitable vocabulary, all right? And then uh, your your formatting, okay? And need paper, uh, need paper expectations, meaning if you are asked to uh, have a certain number of words, you are so asked to align or do a certain, use a certain font, okay? And the font size, please adhere to those expectations, yeah? Those requirements, because that you can get easily, right? You can get easily full marks, all right? If you, if your work looks neat, okay, you you stay within the the word limit, right? Uh, you are uh, using the correct font type and font size, so easy actually, okay? So do well there, all right? And then the, the mechanics of writing, um, here is your the cups, right? Capitalization, language use, punctuation, spelling. OK, you are typing on a computer. Uh, you have all those uh, red lines, green lines, whatever, and all that. It, it, it tells you, right, if something is underlined, probably there's a spelling mistake. Probably there's an issue with the sentence structure. You guys have lots of benefits here, guys, because you're using uh, the computer. Uh, please utilize those benefits, OK? Take that leverage, do things properly. Uh, hello, ma okay, so these are things that you will be um, assessed on in your summary writing. Okay, I'm going one by one. I'm going slowly, okay, so that that you know what it's all about. 
right? Mm -hmm. So, always remember guys, in your summary writing, you have a text first. Don't forget that you have instructions that follow, yeah? You have instructions that follow, okay? Don't just blindly read and, and summarize the whole thing. Here, for example, you need for set one, you need to uh, summarize the measures taken by supermarkets to halt accusations of various unethical acts. So you need to look for measures. Okay, and remember, use your own words, but be careful not to change original meanings of the words. All right, your summary has to be in continuous writing use materials only from the text right no no putting your own ideas no putting ideas from the internet everything comes from the text all right and the length 150 okay that's the number of words that uh, you are required to have all right so set one is about this one measures taken by supermarkets set two your your uh text is about fake news all right and you need to summarize these two things reasons that contrib contribute to the rise of fake news steps to be taken to stop fake news from spreading all right so these are topics that that we see every now and then yeah so this is set two set three your summary will be about horror films all right five horror film uh, cliches so you will summarize the cliches yeah what are the the lame normal stuff that you see in horror films yeah so it's an easy one yeah do well please and um set four where the majority of you are going to write about is about culture shock and for this one the summary will be about the stages of a culture shock all right so those are the four different topics for the four different sets for summary writing. Okay. You also have a template. Okay. If you see in your folder here, you are strongly advised to follow this template. Okay. Uh, for as an answer sheet. All right. So do me a favor when, when you open a document, right? You maybe you can write here set set whatever all right it will be good if you can add on that all right so um in the header please write your name and your tp okay this one stays the same this one don't, doesn't need to change eapa summary right and then uh, you just write summary set whatever and then you write your essay okay you write your essay no need for the underlines yeah it, it, this, this is just to show like you know, if you're writing on a piece of paper, you have lines. Yeah, so so you need not have the lines. It's just it's just there. You can just uh, remove it. Yeah, no issues. OK, format, guys, please strictly follow this. Yeah. All right. Font times New Roman size 12 spacing 1.5 aligned. All right. Include the word count. So those who don't know aligned uh, is best if you follow this one here. Can you see justify here? You've got here your, your left alignment, uh, the center alignment, your right alignment, and then justify. It would look as if, you know, straight, everything straight here, like in a newspaper article. All right. Sardar is putting things up all in the chat. I hope, Sardar, you're also listening, okay? All right. Any questions for summary writing? Hello, ma'am. Can you hear me? Wait. Uh, did someone ask a question? Uh, hello, ma'am. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Hello, ma'am. Can you hear yes. me? Yes, I can hear you. Uh, ma'am, I want to ask that in summary writing, we have to uh, write summary on one topic on, or on uh, two or three topics. Only on one topic. So, oh. for example, your name falls under which set? Ma'am, green. Green. Okay, yes. so you are using set three. Okay, so for set three, 
when you go to Moodle, right, you immediately you immediately search for set three. So you download set three. Okay. So you will do the summary for set three only. Okay, ma'am. Yeah. So don't do all. Yeah. You're not going to gain anything extra. So your set three means green color. Uh, you are doing the horror horror films uh, summary. Is that okay? Okay, ma'am. Okay, good. Any more questions, guys? Whatever doubts you have, you. Uh, Men, we can use a uh, paraphrasing a software from internet. Try not to, please. Yeah, whatever you do yourself, that that is best because um, paraphrasing softwares. I honestly don't use them. I have never used them. Okay, because uh, you guys are smarter than those softwares. Okay, use Amen. your use your skills of um, finding synonyms. Okay, synonyms that fit context. Yeah, guys, synonyms that are suitable for the sentence. Okay. Uh, and if we use uh, uh, our marks, will it deduct or not? It will be deducted if the paraphrasing is not accurate. That, that's what I'm trying to say. You use the paraphrasing software, you have to make sure the meaning is accurate because if the meaning changes, all right, and the word does not fit the sentence, of course, I can guarantee you your marks will be deducted. Okay, okay. Okay. Thank you so much. So guys, please, whatever words you use, whatever whatever um, synonyms you find, make sure you know what they mean, what they are used for. We went through this when we were looking at paraphrasing and summarizing, right? You you had you know the skills of the first one is finding synonyms. Second one is uh, changing the structure of the sentence. The third one is like an almost an, an uh, overhaul of the whole sentence, right? Combining uh, synonyms and also uh, changing the structure. Okay, so uh, Rifat and um, Vivin, you have the same question there. Yes, of course, you have to summarize, right? You have to paraphrase, all right? Uh, for example, you say here, we have had scary films. Okay, you you wouldn't want to copy this whole thing, right? Imagine this is the main idea. You you wouldn't want to copy this, yeah? You you want to say that uh, there used to be uh, there used to be films that made us feel scared, right? So um, the point here is no copying, summarizing involves you uh, the skill of paraphrasing. Any more questions, guys? Please, whatever questions you have now, you better ask, yeah? Uh, Ma'am, when we reach to uh, our commutative essay, can you explain with a reputation para? Yeah, you will explain to me first what you understand first, all right? Remember last week? Mm -hmm. uh, so... Yes, ma'am. Okay. So this is your summary. Guys, any questions? Because if you if you don't say anything, I'm gonna assume you are you are okay, yeah. Thank you, Jet. Thank you, Erin, for replying. Thank you, Sardar, for replying. Okay, so that is your summary. Okay, and you will, uh, guys, the submission of it, right, is separate, yeah? Uh, the summary will be in one. The essay will be in another uh, option here. All right, the so summary and then essay. Okay, all right. Thank you for all those who have responded. Okay, moving on will be your. Da, da, da. Argumentative essay. Okay, your argumentative essay. So let's look at the <clears throat> instructions here first. So part two is your argumentative essay writing worth 30%. Okay. So what you will do is 
you will choose one of the following questions. All right, choose only one and answer the question in five paragraphs. All right, uh, I think you did argumentative writing in week five before I joined you guys. So uh, the notes and stuff you can definitely refer to uh, Moodle and Teams, right? Uh, your number of words would be about 450, about 500 words, okay? You go slightly more, I don't mind, all right? As long as it's not too much. If you go more like 50, it's okay, but not beyond that, yeah? All right? So in your writing, you would have clearly stated reasons, all right? which you will support with examples and evidence wherever you feel appropriate. Okay, that's why feel free to search for information online. If you use any information, please do citations and references. All right, uh, last week we saw synthesizing uh, I showed you guys what we mean by, okay, when you cite and then you do references as well for the information that you use. And when you, if you synthesize, that means you found two articles that have a similar idea or a contrasting idea. You want to kind of put them together. All right. Make sure you've got this, the citation and the references all there clearly. Okay. So you will be given marks based on content structure and organization, style and language. All right, let's just, for the sake of it. All right, so your content is the first one. All right, so definitely you, you, you need to have enough points, okay, your arguments, okay, the way you structure your essay. Do you have a clear intro? Do you have clear body paragraphs? Do you have a clear conclusion all right the style of an argumentative essay is it followed or not all right do you do you have uh, a clear thesis statement uh, mentioning your your stance all right what what your position is for example okay um your grammar and spelling of course it's an essay and, uh, and of course the suitability of uh, vocabulary that you choose okay so these are these are the normal things. I think like whatever stage of writing you've been through, you definitely see these kinds of things in the assessment criteria. All right. So there are five different topics here. You will choose only one. All right. This one I will not discuss with you. OK, so uh, it's just briefly. The first one is talking about um uh the fate of your vr and ar yeah your virtual reality augmented reality uh this is not my field so probably i i wouldn't do a topic like this it, it does not really uh, appeal to me yeah but if i want to give it a try i i will probably read read more about it all right so it depends on you that's why you've got five different topics to choose from all right the the second one here is about uh, keeping up with um, trends, new trends. Okay, uh, what what's your stance on this? Okay, the the third one is about counterfeit goods. All right, um, um, you will need to see. Okay, there's a view here. What what is your view on it? All right, and then this is uh, something. This term called cancel culture. All right, so there, there's a little uh, information here uh, about cancel culture. Okay, so what do you think? Do you think cancel culture should be cancelled? Yeah, and the last one is about tattoos. Okay, um, tattoos as of course the description only, but don't write, don't simply write tattoo, yeah, please, yeah, uh, in your, in your, um, what they call that, essay. Your essay is, an example can be like this, like tattoo here, but you are not writing about tattoo per se, okay? Because this situation here about tattoos brings you to here, all right? The anonymity on internet, right? Basically, your 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 privacy protection on the uh, internet. Is it important for it to be? 
protected or not. So what's your view on it? All right, so these are the five topics. Uh, do whatever you feel uh, you can manage or whatever you're interested in doing. But don't forget, you're writing an academic essay. You're writing an argumentative essay. Okay, so um, to just go through your um, argumentative essay. Okay, uh, Saad. Saad, uh, what what can you remember about um, an argumentative essay, Saad? Um, in an argumentative essay, uh, I understood uh, that uh, uh, we have to just uh, uh, write in the favor of the topic. I think we have to just. Okay. Yeah. So, were you were you in class when this topic was discussed? When argumentative was discussed? Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. Come on, Saad, you also watch, uh, there were recordings, I'm sure, as well. Okay, but never mind. Uh, what you are saying is not wrong because there are normally two styles, right? One style is um, the one where you totally agree. That means all your body paragraphs will be for the topic. And another style is totally disagree. Okay, that means all your body paragraphs will be uh, your points for disagreeing with the topic. Okay. But what is expected of you is um, the one where you have the the what they call that uh, ay, ay, ay. Um, your two body paragraphs, okay, uh, to say why you're for, all right, and then the one that states why you are against. Okay, can any one of you guys uh, help Saad? All right, take this as a revision, like a like a refresher. Can you guys explain what you understand? All right, what you understand by the body paragraph. So I need help with the the refutation paragraph. Anyone, guys? Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Uh, Nobody is judging you. Okay, so um, uh, Saad, if you read what your friends have mentioned there, yeah. So we've been uh, saying that argumentative. Okay, the hook, the lead, this statement, body claim, not our own conclusion. All right. Okay, so Uzma has said here acknowledge the opposite end of the argument. All right. Good. OK, so if you were to have. Um, say, uh, give me a topic, guys. Um, can't think of anything. I'm, I'm more hungry than as far. I'm sure. Uh, and can we take a topic from uh, our topic? Uh, alternative assessment? Uh, no, 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 no. We're not going to take any topic from the alternative assessment. Yeah. Life cannot be made that easy. Um, let's let's just say, um, say cigarettes. Sorry if I'm offending anyone with this topic. Cigarette uh, sales uh, should be banned in um, in convenience stores. Okay. Uh, All right, so that that's the topic. Okay, cigarette cigarette um, sales should be banned in convenience stores. All right, so you will of course have your introduction. Okay, that goes without saying. So your thesis statement should state. All right, whether you agree or you disagree. All right, you have to state clearly whether you agree or disagree. Okay. For example, if you agree, okay, if you agree, your body paragraph one will be your point for agree, body paragraph two will be your point for agree, body paragraph um, three, okay, if you read what Samuel has said in the message, okay, Samuel says that it introduced opposing views of the argument where you are acknowledging the argument, 
but then you have to prove why your point is more relevant than the opposing you. Very good, Samuel. All right. So Jet has said, basically, there will be a paragraph where you shine light on the other side of the argument. Show why people would be against your side, against the side you took at the start of the essay. OK, good. This will be your refutation. OK, so you're kind of saying that. You agree, but there is a another side okay, uh, that that should be considered as well. All right. So for example, okay, if you say uh, body paragraph one, you say agree, okay, why why you give a reason why it should be banned. Body body paragraph should, uh, uh, two also says why it should be banned. But body paragraph three, you are still saying, yeah, it should be banned, but then give reasons why it should not be banned as well. So this is kind of a little bit for against or disagree. Basically, so, ma'am, we have to disagree in the reputation panel. Yeah, that means the point here, all right, the point in your refutation paragraph will be the opposing view, the opposite view of body paragraph okay. one and body paragraph two. Uh, and for example, ma'am, yeah, uh, body para one and two will be a disagree, so mm -hmm. reputation para will be uh, agree. Correct, correct. Okay, ma'am. You, you get it? Uh, ma'am, yeah. you made it simpler for me. Okay. Good, good. So in your conclusion, don't forget to to tell us. Remind, remind your reader again. Yeah, once more that you um you still agree with the topic because that that is what your your stance was in the introduction. So don't forget to uh, remind us what your your main points were. All right, uh, that you uh, argued. All right. So this this kind of um. So what I got uh, your notes here. Yeah, I think all this lame stuff. All right. You have already seen all this. So guys, it's just a matter of you writing the essay. Are you guys OK? Any questions for argumentative? Yeah. Um, where is the Moodle? Moodle, Moodle. All right. So uh, for argumentative, your essay, there is another place here, yeah, where you, where you um, submit. Okay. Uh, uh, Jamil, no need for images, yeah, because you, you're not graded on the image. You are graded on your uh, writing. Okay, you're graded on your writing. It, it's an essay. So like uh, you will use the template, something like this again, your name and TP. Uh, right, what question number here? All right, which one did you choose? One, two, three, four, or five? Uh, again, the same uh, format that you need to follow, yeah? All right, so everything you need has been provided here already. Okay, so your due date is on the 22nd. Yes. By 11.59, before it becomes 23rd of July, you will have to submit it. All right. Um, turn it in. OK. For your turn it in, guys, um, I don't know what you guys can see. OK, you will normally write for turn it in because you said you have used it. Uh, you will be able to see like a pen mark there and beside it there's like a percentage if you have submitted assignments before you will notice that there is like a pen and then um, th there's like a percentage somewhere around that the percentage there means similarity okay similarities can be coincidental can be intentional all right so um if it's intentional then, like I told you just now, uh, you will be in trouble uh, depending on how serious it is. If it's very serious, then uh, I'll have to report it. Yeah. If it's minor uh, in which maybe you didn't take any effort to to try and um, 
paraphrase stuff, for example, if it's minor, then probably um, you, your marks will just be penalized. If you copied a friend, uh, then God bless us all. Yeah, you and your friend both. If you have finished your assignment, right, guys, don't go post it on social media. I have finished my EAP alternative assessments. I'm so goddamn great. Now, when you have posted that, then suddenly you will see all these friends coming to you. Hey, bro, what's up? Oh, I heard you finished your assignment already. People like this exist, yeah? I'm telling you from experience. I'm telling you based on what other people have experienced before. I've seen childhood friends betraying each other. Can you imagine you go to school from kindergarten to, to junior high school, to high school, to college, and then one fella betrays the other, copies the assignment. And then after that, there's no BFF forever. There's no BFF. There's nothing. There's enemies forever only. Okay, be careful, yeah? You look after yourself. That will do already. Okay, I'm not saying be selfish. Look after yourself. If someone needs help, all right? If someone needs help, for example, um, asking about something, uh, do you understand this question and all? Okay, explain the question, but don't show your work. All right, don't show your work. Okay. Um, Wei Huan is asking American English or British English. Stick to one. If you have, uh, if you start with American, it has to be American all the way. Yeah. If you start with British English, it has to be British English all the way. We don't want a mishmash of, of both. Yeah. Uh, will you check the papers instantly refund? Yeah, when time allows me because we have a due date for it. So by the due date, the papers will be checked. All right. But uh, because it's like an exam. So we can't really uh, tell you more. Uh, for this, I have been advised to not check. Yeah, if you send me personally, if you have questions to ask, I will entertain you. But I uh, was advised against checking uh your assessments that are complete all right because you have to take it like an exam but if you have questions feel free to ask all right okay uh coming back to turn it in okay when you open turn in yeah uh sorry Alicia, i'm just using your group's example one of the one of the first ones on top you will see like a number here all right the percentage here okay so it it tells you what matches you have all right so, for example, here, this one is 8%. This one here was found to be the same as this internet source here, afmhmc.org. All right. So, this was, for me, considered minor. I didn't say anything. All right. Um, some of these probably were coincidental. All right. Or if it's copied, like imagine the whole thing is copied, then that's it. All right. So, just understand guys turn it in is not to catch you for plagiarizing yeah some some students misunderstand that it does help us to find out if you have uh, been dishonest in your work yeah but it's a tool to help you with your writing so now for example if you see this explore patients thoughts feelings behaviors you saw that okay this this the 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 order of this has been has appeared in some other source what can I do about this? Maybe I can change my sentence structure. All right. I can maybe put the, the behaviors, um, uh, thoughts, and emotions of patients can be explored. I change my sentence structure. I, I use a different wording. So take turn it in as help for you to write. Don't misunderstand its purpose. All right. So it's better if you complete your work faster upload your work faster okay go to Moodle, Moodle upload your work faster see your percentage and then see all these highlights that it gives you it helps you with your writing see what you can then alter um, paraphrase for example all right so that, that's the advice i can give you i know in your in your first semester all right, uh, get used to doing all this from now itself. Otherwise, when you reach other subjects, like for example, third semester, um, uh, 
when you do your academic research skills, for example, you're like, oh, what is this and all. Yeah, uh, at least now you know a little bit about it. OK, so that's all I have to say about your alternative assessment. All I can say is all the best in completing it. I know you will do a good job. Yeah, uh, I know you are capable of doing it. All right, don't stress yourself too much. You have the time, manage your time, create your graphic organizer, your mind map, whatever, whatever that can help you with your writing. Don't stress, right? Recently you have heard uh, in Malaysia, there were two students uh, in a university. They, they, uh, they died because their, their, their nerves in their head had ruptured. All right, uh, they were apparently very stressed out uh, because of their studies and all. OK, so um, things can happen to us, to you, to me. But now the thing is, guys, manage your time. Don't overthink things. When you feel you have had enough for a day, please go talk to your family members, watch TV a little, talk to your boyfriend, girlfriend, but don't argue. It will, it will add on to your stress. Yeah. Just just manage things. You need any kind of help, let me know. Um, don't, don't put too much on yourself, right? Have some expectations, but don't over expect. You know what you can handle. All right, guys. So that's, that's what I can um, advise you. What if someone hacked the system? Uh, so far, no one has hacked the system. If you manage to hack, you let me know. Uh, wait. OK, wait, wait. Uh, whose question is that? Uh, link for the website. Did, which website? You mean this turn it in, is it? Um, OK, so this thingy. I open from what you guys have submitted before. OK, if any one of you has submitted an assignment before, for example, this was uh, Alicia's, right? Alicia has has submitted this assignment before. All right, uh, Alicia, are you able to share your screen if you open Moodle already? I don't know, are you willing? Or anyone else? I know uh, as far who else. Yeah, you have to press on the percentage. You have to click on the percentage. Because I can't show you, you know, I I my role is as a lecturer. So students see something else. Uh, any other student who has submitted the assignment? Mm. Do people don't want to share what to do? No, but, but I have another another Moodle one. You have another subjects one? Uh, yeah, I have. Ah, uh, uh, you maybe you can share your screen? Yeah, I try to open it. OK, OK. So your friend is going to open and, and share screen. Yeah, take this as an experience. OK, don't worry. The content for later will only take about half an hour. Yeah, whatever we are supposed to do. Uh, yes, uh, Sinchi, correct. You can um, you can resubmit. Okay, you can resubmit. Um, normally up to three times. Okay, otherwise then uh, the fourth time you might have difficulties getting the percentage. Uh, the similarity percentage. Yeah. So for example, if you finish everything by Sunday, okay, and then you just upload. Uh, both your 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 work um, and then you see your percentage and then if you see your percentage is high there are things that you can fix then you after fixing you can re-upload no problem yeah, miss I, I i share the screen for the for the 28 okay can so guys this is um your, your friend is uh, doing us a favor, all right? Yeah, this is a very goal I did. Can but you, uh, Yuan Ming, can you go back to the part where before you open this, you go back to the, the, the yeah, tab sure. beside it? Okay, you see, uh, Yuan Ming has opened that part. Uh, students will see that. 
can you see uh, file submissions there? And then you got the assignment that you submitted and then there is the percentage. So you click on that. Okay, Yonmin, can you please click on that? Thank you. So it will open for you another tab. Uh, turn it in will we'll generate there. Yeah? So um, this was his PDSM assignment. Okay, Yonmin, can you please click on the 25% on the, the right hand side? All right. So you can see that there are similarities there. Okay, all the highlights in your document, all right, all the highlights in your document show similarities. Similarities, like I said, can be intentional. That means you intentionally plagiarize or can be coincidental. Like all this that Yuan Ming is showing us, instructions, handout date, all this is coincidental. All right. But if content, can you scroll down, Yuan Ming, if you don't mind, because this is your assignment, yeah, your, it's something private. Okay, so um, all these things here, there's nothing much highlighted here, so I, he's, he's okay, right? He didn't go copy anything from anyone. Are you, are you guys uh, clear on this? Uh, yes, yes, Fatih, you, you'll have to submit first to check. If you don't upload your work and submit it, you will not be able to check. All right. Okay, Yuan Ming, thank you very much for for sharing with us. Thank you, teacher. Uh, Rick, to answer your question, yes. It is embedded in the submission. So you want to use or you don't want to use, once you upload your assignment, turn it in, is that all right? It, it, it is there, all right? Uh, Saad's so question, we, we all can see, you can see your own, your own work. Yeah, you can see your own work uh, after you have submitted. All right, sometimes you have to wait for a few seconds or a few minutes yeah, for the report to generate depending on the, the traffic, the volume of users on Moodle. Yeah, so be patient. Okay, any other questions? If you have doubts, better clear them now, yeah, guys, okay? No questions, no questions, no questions. If there's no question, you take a break until 5.35, all right, until 5.35. I'll see you in about four minutes, thank you. If you do have questions after the four minutes, please ask. Yeah, you go digest the information first. Thank you. Yeah, miss, but that and I have uh, one question. I about the turn it in. I don't know the purple color meaning. The purple color. Okay, you share your screen again. Okay. I have not uh, given attendance yet uh, because class is not over yet. So of course you can't see the attendance. Uh? You you are taking a short break until five thirty-five. We still have one short and part. Purple color means uh, purple color. Uh, purple color this. Okay, that means that one your lecturer set it. Your lecturer used that E rated thing. Not not everyone uses that. Yeah. So oh. uh, you, your lecturer maybe has a purpose for using that um that E rated built in. Oh, okay. So, uh, what does it mean? Uh, it's a error or we have done correct. Which one? Uh, purple highlight. Uh -huh. So what does it mean? It means that we have uh, done something wrong or we have done something right. Maybe there is like a grammar mistake or something like that because I have not used E-Rater before. I've only heard about it. Okay. So probably uh, it is to, to like I saw your friend's work just now. Maybe if there was like a grammar mistake or something, it kind of helps uh, identify it. 
or the lecturer maybe put it there to help check the the accuracy of the language yeah so so that is kind of a help for you yeah Uh, so Tish, to answer your question, there are other sites out there to check your uh, similarity. I wouldn't say plagiarism, yeah? There, there are specific plagiarism checkers out there. Um, the best is turn it in. Okay, the best is turn it in. The thing about uh, technology and all these um, similarity checkers is that once your uh, assignment has already been uploaded somewhere, okay, that means you are using, for example, plagiarism checker A, right? You you uploaded your work there to check the similarity and whatnot. So your work is already somewhere in the cloud, right? It's already in the internet. So when you upload your work, Turnitin uh, does do, as far as I know, okay, all sorts of material online and also sources from other students who have done the assignment, all right, are compared against. So um, it might, it might probably make your percentage a little higher. That is why we allow students to re-upload their work. That means you have finished your work, you just upload it, see your percentage, yeah, see whatever you can uh, repair to make, make things better, correct it, okay? And then put it back again into turn into Moodle submission, turn it in, let it do its thing. Yeah, so um, make use of the facilities that that were given. Yeah, that, that you actually kind of pay for, right? Turn it in. It's the best tool out there, the most established and the best one. Uh, that's why we, we use it. Right, so uh, just submit and then resubmit. Yeah, uh, if you think there is a need for uh, changes to be made. Okay. All right, guys. Okay, I hope everyone is back. Um, we'll take about half an hour more only. Okay, uh, I'm going to put a link for you guys to do a short quiz just to check your how much you remember how much you understand, okay, how much you remember, how much you understand uh, about connectors, okay, your connectors. Can I stop? Okay, so I'm going to put the link now. You guys join the, oh, I haven't sent yet, how smart. You guys join the quiz, all right? I've put the link for you. You guys, please join the quiz. I hope you can open it. Okay, okay, good. So you guys can join, good. Uh, 
yes, so there is your last class. Is there a question to ask? I have a question. Yeah. Uh, I, I was just checking my mathematics uh, uh, answers. But on the right hand side, it shows me 94, I think, percent match overview. What does it mean? That means there is a 94 percent similarity with some other source out there, whether other students or other sources out there. So that's something you need to discuss with your lecturer. This is special for, for the math because the math is just just tested by the teacher. Yeah, because we, we all the, have the same answer, so the similarity will be a, a very huge about that and then uh, yeah, and also the answer template yeah also call in the the similarity all right so your friend has given you the explanation okay so uh, uh ma'am so it will track our marks or what no 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 please don't again uh don't be so uptight about this as long as you have done your work originally, you have done it honestly, there is no need to worry about anything. If there were anything to worry about, your lecturer would have contacted you already by now. All right, or will contact you. Because in that assignment, probably you have a cover page, your, your instructions, the questions are all the same. And maybe even your mathematical steps, your procedures might be the same, exactly the same, right? So in, in assignments like that, probably it's difficult to identify if a student actually has plagiarized or not. All right. Yeah. Oh, so so if, if anything serious, ma'am, for example, if I got failed, so uh, teacher would contact me directly. Uh, this is an alternative assessment, so uh, it has to be reported. You will be informed about it also. Yeah, but it will have to be reported. So the thing now is, you shouldn't be overthinking it if you know you are not going to uh, copy anything or plagiarize yes, anything. Yes, yeah, so don't yes. overthink it. Do your assignment as you would. Do it like an exam as you would. All right. Yeah. Okay, don't don't Thank simply you. stress. Yeah. Focus on completing it. Okay, seventy nine of you uh, here, uh, guys. Those who have not joined, please join it. There is twelve very simple questions that will not take you more than. Um, uh, five minutes, I, I believe. 30 seconds per uh, question, about five minutes. Okay, smartest student, whoever you are, make sure you prove yourself as the smartest student, okay? All right, let's start now.
Okay, guys, I am going to end the game in five, four, three, two, one. So there you have your top three. Okay, guys, this was a killer easy quiz, just as a refresher, right? So you've got, uh, I think most of you would have gotten, gotten all right. Yeah, the first few people got all right. Good. Okay. Just want to see what were the issues. Let's see. Function of a connector lies likewise, moreover. I hope uh, you have identified yeah, if um, there's any mistakes that you made because like I say, it's just a refresher. Okay, um, the point of this particular topic today in your last class is for you to be able to try and use them well in your writing. Okay, uh, in your presentations, I, I, I noticed some students are very good at using this. Okay to create a connection relationship between your uh, sentences, your points. Hope to see this in your writing as well. So good job on the completion of this very difficult quiz. All right. So I'll just spend a few minutes. All right, just a few minutes uh, going through uh, this thingy. OK, uh, using connectors. All right, and some vocabulary to express your ideas, whether written or spoken okay so uh, hopefully you you have some ideas about some connectors all right used in english okay uh, whether when you are giving opinions agreeing disagreeing all right um so the application will mostly be in your your writing all right in your writing your alternative assessment and in whatever other assessments or whatever other writings that you do yeah all right okay so in English, all right, uh, I'm sure you have seen all this before. You know that there are many connectors that we use, but they have different purposes, okay? How you use them, okay, in your writing, in your speaking, all right? And, and it's not just the output, yeah, also the input. When you listen to something or when you are reading something, um, both the input and the output needs you to know the meaning of these connectors and how they are used. OK, so we're just going to revise very quickly. All right. So the first one here, if you are giving a reason all right, or you want to show there is a cause for something, you can use things like this because as since. All right. So um, it depends on how you write it. OK, these words can appear in the middle of the sentence. All right, but they can also appear at the beginning of the sentence if you have two clauses. All right, for example, if you say because of the rain, comma. I did not go to the park. Right, so you need to have two clauses there. But if you want to put it in the middle of the sentence, you say I did not go to the park because of the ring. All right, so you've got all these usages here because of something, uh, due to something, owing to something. All right, you'll follow it with a noun phrase. Yeah. If you want to show purpose, you can use in order to do something, so as to do something. All right, so as to pass my module, comma, I need to work hard i need to work hard in order to do well in my module all right you can interchange them consequences you can use there are so many out there yeah so many you got consequently as a consequence as a result therefore many 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 
All right. And then if you want to use a different structure where you follow with a noun phrase, for example, as a consequence of or as a result of the heavy rain. All right. That's a noun phrase. I could not go to the park. All right. It was raining heavily, so I could not go to the park. All right. If you want to show addition, you want to add more information or more ideas, okay, about the same topic. You can use all this moreover, furthermore, all right, uh, in addition or besides, okay, um, as well as you normally use in the middle of the sentence, all right, normally, okay. Uh, when you want to give examples, all right, this is E. When you want to give examples, you can say, for example, for instance, as an example, as an instance, okay, uh, these are a few things that you can use. All right, such as you will use in the middle or towards the end of the sentence. OK, uh, the reasons why I don't go to the park are such as one, two, three. All right, so you've got. Some phrases that you can use when you want to compare and you want to contrast. OK, for example, as tall as what? All right, or you have a sentence you want to show that uh, there is a similarity to something else. You can use likewise, similarly, all right? Then when you have contrast, when you're writing your refutation paragraph, for example, these are things you can use, okay? You, you can say, on the other hand, all right, in contrast. However, there is another uh, side to the coin, okay? Blah, blah, blah. All right, so just a refresher, okay? This one now you need to know because we're going to do one small activity later. OK. You you use these kinds of vocabulary when you want to express your ideas. For example, when you want to give your opinions. All right. If you are writing. Um, um, what they call that, like an opinion based essay, you will use things like this. OK, I strongly agree. Or if you're in a debate, for example, I strongly agree. I strongly believe. These are the normal ones that you use in my opinion, blah, blah, blah. From my point of view, blah, blah, blah. As far as I'm concerned, as far as I know, blah, blah, blah. All right. If you want to ask for someone else's opinion. Simple. These are things that many of you manage to use in your discussions, right? What do you think? What, what are your views on something, right? So. This is something that you always see, OK? If you agree with someone, especially in, in spoken uh, form, right? You say exactly that's true, you're perfectly right, I, I couldn't agree more, OK? Disagreeing will, will be, of course, the opposite of that, all right? I partially agree with you, I beg to defer, right? I simply cannot agree to this. So angry, OK? So. You have seen some of this. Now you just look at look at this. All right, just just try and remember a couple of this. Right, as far as I'm concerned, my point of view, my opinion. Okay, we will spend just another five ten minutes doing this activity. Okay, you will be given um, statements. There are ten statements, but chill, don't worry. You are not going to be asked to do all. All right. State if blah blah. State if you would agree or disagree with the statement that you are going to see using the expressions that you learn, all right? Especially the one where you say, I agree or I think or in my opinion, whatever, all right? All of you, all right, it's, it's your last class. Be contributive, yeah? All of you will need to give your reasons in the meeting chat. All right, all. So, for example, if the the statement is um, cake is delicious, all right. If the statement says cake is delicious, you would have to state if you agree or disagree and give a reason. Simple one, yeah. Cake is delicious because uh, it makes me happy whenever I eat it. Or cake is delicious because it has uh, uh, the best ingredients I've ever uh, eaten in my life. Just simple sentences, okay? But use 
phrases like all this. All right, we say King is delicious. I couldn't agree more because what? All right, so every one of you needs to contribute. Yeah, you will be given two minutes to put your answers into the chat. All of you. All right, the first one is this. Gaming is the most interesting activity for young adults. Okay, I'll wait for your answers. Okay, I've got two students who have put in their answers. All right, the rest of you. I'll wait, yeah, we're only going to do two, yeah? Good Asfar, good Sadar, good Jason. Xiao Juan, something I agree with. Okay, good. In my perspective, okay, very good. Muhammad, entertaining and interesting. As I'm, all right, all right. So you managed to use some connectors there. Good. Harish only said yes. Will be good if you can write like. Yes, I agree with it. Yeah, that will enhance the sentence, but your your reason is good. Shin Tian, you said agree or say I agree. Yeah, okay, good, good. The reason is good. I agree because it helps to release stress. Good, Cheng Hao. Eden, I agree with the statement. Good, because it's fun and it's immersive. Good. Tian, I agree with the statement. I find a lot of joy. Okay, good, good. Nihit, yes, I agree with that. Gamers may have better social skills. Yes, good. Yijuan, I agree with this statement as young adults can reduce stress. Good. You win. Maybe you can add I. I agree. Yeah, because there are many different types. Good. The reason so far so good. On kid. Gaming is a good activity. Yeah, good reason that you gave. Good sentence that you made. Maybe if you want to state agreement, disagreement, you can say I strongly believe. Yeah, that will maybe make it stronger. All right, but very good reason here. Rick. Maybe you can add, I, I agree. It can help relieve stress. Okay. Chat, I agree. Great platform. All right. Good. Chung Yu, I agree because games can make young people happy. Wonderful. Zhao Zheng, I couldn't agree more. Very good. Wow. Reasons. Wonderful. Very mature reasons. Mian, I agree with the statement. Okay. Good reason also. Wonderful. Yuan Ming, gaming is good. Help take, however, it can do. Okay. You tried to use the connector here. Yeah, it's just the punctuation when when you write must be careful. Yeah. Okay. And then here, my thoughts exactly. Very good. There's nothing better. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Wonderful. Hassan, that's true. All right. Good. Edric, I agree. Games are meant to attract young adults. Good. Yiling, good. Jamil, no, I don't agree because it damages focus. Good, good. Jamil, yes, I agree. And I believe, all right, good two, two mentions of um, connectors there or vocab. Samuel, I agree with that because maybe the comma after that is not necessary. Good sentence, yeah. Jesse, I agree because blah, blah, blah. Good. Millie, I disagree. Okay. Okay, another one disagree. Good. Jamil has something to add here. Jai, I agree with that because we can meet different people. All right, wonderful. Shun Ho, I agree. It will help young adults to release their stress. Good. Strongly agree. Exactly, I agree with that. Axel, I agree with that. Wonderful. Okay, so most of you, from what I see here, you started with I agree, I agree. Okay, I got another I do not agree here. 
because I prefer, alright, okay? We've been, okay, helps adults think, alright? Good, good, Fati, I agree, my opinion, good. So you use two here, wonderful. Sohan, I agree with the statement, good. Blah, 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 wonderful. Kaifa, agree, I agree, in my opinion, yeah, wonderful. Lip how I strongly agree. Wow, so we can see different levels of agreement or disagreement here. Very good, yeah? I agree, more relaxed. Okay, Michelle, yes, I agree. Asher, I've just, just now one, or oh, just edited a bit. Okay, oh, added a bit, good. Agreeable, or I'm in agreement. Oh, okay, good, good. Ruth, I agree, wonderful. Uzma, I disagree as one gets addicted. Alicia, I agree with the statement, gaming can help relieve young adult stress. Ibrahim, I agree because young people, blah, blah, blah. Good, good so far. Junyu, so I agree, blah, blah, blah. But it is not the best. So we have got two sides here. Okay, good, good. Ayami, I can't agree more. Wow, okay. So this is what we mean by you are app applying, yeah, good. Wei Huan, maybe you can say I agree from my perspective. It slows down the aging process. Wow. So out of the box, right? Kutakon, I agree. For a long time, you'll rarely get bored. Good. Heidi, I agree. You can meet new people. Elvis, in my opinion, I totally agree. Normally, you don't say I am totally agree. Yeah? I totally agree. Good point. Dinesh, I do agree. That's, that's a very strong one. I do agree. Yep, good. I strongly agree. You referred said I couldn't agree more. Yes, good. Daniel, I totally disagree, yeah? Same as just now, so you remove M, yeah? I totally disagree. Wonderful. Reason is also good. Funny, I agree. It's interesting. Okay, good, good. All these people here so far. Okay, so there is just giving um, supporting details. Jawan, I disagree, okay? Lombe, yes, I agree. Okay, good. Shami. Okay, now here's another side of the coin here. I have to disagree. Some are competitive. Okay. Manning, I totally agree. Good. Okay, Darren, Aaron, good, good. And Minky. Wonderful. Those who haven't posted your answers, please put it here, yeah? So this thing here is as simple as you may be like, whoa, what is this and all that? It's just a reminder, yeah, guys? It's just a reminder that you have these phrases to use, okay? When you are writing, when you are speaking. Of course, when you are writing a formal essay, you would avoid using the word I, all right? You would avoid using the word I, okay? As, as much as you can, all right? So um, when you speak and all, definitely you can, all right? Or some types of writing, opinion-based and all, you can definitely use such statements, okay? So uh, I also saw a few of you try to have more than one idea, you linked the ideas together and some of you used these connectors. All right. So this small part, this small lesson here, uh, the aim of it, all right, the aim of it is to remind you that these things exist because uh, I have, when I was checking your opinion based essays, some are very dry. You, you don't uh, put uh, any kind of connectors, all right? Uh, it's just one sentence after the other. So it it lacks the cohesion, all right? It lacks the, the, the relationship between the ideas, okay? So use these connectors, all right? These are just a few examples, all right? These are just a few examples. There are so many more out there, which I'm sure you have seen before, you have learned before. Apply them in your... Um, in your um, writing, not just now, always. Yeah, all right. Okay, Sally has given his input also, good. Any questions? Don't worry, I will not make you do more. Yeah, I'll not make you do more. You, you've got all these other statements, all right. Put Ronaldo here, I'm sure it's gonna be like a big topic, right? Everybody will start like, he's the best football player. What What is the reason you guys gave the other day? Uh, what? A few weeks ago, he's got what the best legs because of his six packs. It's like you funny people. All right. Oh, his thighs, huh? You fellas. His thighs. His nice legs. You fellas. Okay. 
So uh, guys, uh, I'll remember you uh, when it comes to um, Ronaldo. So now you've got a lot to say about Messi as well. Yeah. Good, good. Who said that um, England did not win the other day? Anyone who wanted England to win, but Italy won? That too, after quite a number of uh, penalty kicks, right? So a few of you were sad. Okay, okay, don't worry, don't worry. Life goes on, yeah? Life goes on. They still got paid for it. Yeah, but uh, many Liverpool supporters were quite unhappy, right? Because because they didn't put the best Liverpool players there, some of the best Liverpool players there. But never mind. It's okay, it's okay. It has time, it will go home. Okay, so guys, uh, I don't want to keep you any longer. Um, don't feel sad. Italy's still there. England's still there. You're still here. I will dismiss you very soon. Yeah? Okay, guys, so uh, this is your last class all right this is your last class for eap all right you have completed your group assignment already you are left with the alternative assessment which i know you will do your best in and you will also do it honestly and and uh, and with the best of your ability yeah so I just wish you all the best. Uh, I know I've only been with you six weeks. Yeah, um, uh, I thank you for cooperating despite me not being uh, the, the lecturer that came in your class first. OK, so I hope um, you take only the best from the module or whatever little or lot that you got from it. Take it, use it. This is one of the subjects that requires you to apply skills. OK, this has a lot of transferable skills. That is why you're doing it in your first semester. All right. So things that you like, oh, Miss, why are we doing this? Messi is the best football player. Say whether you agree or you disagree and all that. Um, it is something that we take for granted. Yeah, and we forget that things like this exist. Simple things, yeah, simple things that using phrases like this, all right? And you guys are, are going to um, write real academic essays. You you need to divert your, your mind. You need to be more mature. Think critically. Yeah, don't uh, don't don't get don't be stuck in high school. Take the skills from high school, combine them with the skills that you have from your first semester, keep increasing the skills keep developing those skills, all right? Skills like summarizing, definitely you will use them now and forever until you become a great grandparent, all right? When you are storytelling or whatever to your great grandchild, you will be using all these skills. Paraphrasing, summarizing, all these things, writing an academic essay, doing citations, doing references, yeah? Don't, don't just say that this is EAP, that's the end, no. All right, EAP, yes, that's the end, but not the skills in EAP. All right, make sure, just like all these football players that you are talking about, like how they develop their skills from the time they were young up till they are professionals now that you want to become like them. Same thing goes for something like English. All right, um, I don't know if I will see you again. I, I don't know. Um, there may be a possibility, all right. Uh, my camera until now, my device, I bought two different devices, yeah, to, to try and fix it. I didn't buy a new device. I can't afford a new device, but I hope I get another solution soon. But uh, I, I really thank you all, yeah, guys. I thank you all for actually uh, cooperating. You have been doing a good job. If I see you again, probably there is a, a chance I may see you in your semester three, maybe. All right, in um, in what is that subject? Uh, academic research skills, maybe. All right, but uh, probably not as well. 
but I'm glad to have met you guys. Uh, I I apologize if there's anything that went wrong anywhere. Okay. Um, that's all I can say. All I can say is all the best to you guys. Time uh, times now are not easy because of the pandemic. I don't want you guys to give up. Be grateful. You still have the chance to go on with your uh, lives, yeah, your your academics. You are not wasting a year or two years. Some people are really going through all that. Whenever you feel stressed, whenever you feel like oh I can't do this anymore, always compare your life to those who are less fortunate, not those who are more fortunate. Count your blessings. All right, you still have your education. You still have your your family your your lecturers okay at any time you need help find the right help don't give up okay don't stress balance your time spend time with your family guys we don't know how long we have with our families how long we have with each other nothing is certain okay so don't just do gaming all the time yeah or don't just sit down dream and try and be like messy you be yourself you will be fine. Okay, so let's take your attendance. If there's any questions, I know I, I will always annoy you with all my do you have questions? Do you have questions? But yeah, if you I have any questions, ask, guys, please uh, ask. I'm going yes. to ask it again. Uh, uh, like, uh, so what it shows that we are fail of what? No, no, no. You might probably just be asked questions about it then you will probably be investigated yeah all right so there is no thing like if you plagiarize you fail maybe you will fail but it depends if you plagiarize you will be investigated then you might be reported but man we right? have done it by our own and uh, it by mistake and it's uh, plagiarism then you will have to talk to your 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 lecturer if there's any problem your lecturer will contact you uh, most probably, uh, ma'am, after the semester will end, then uh, the lecture will talk. Yeah, yeah. If it's necessary, you will be contacted. Otherwise, the exam unit will contact you. All right, just do your work truthfully. That's all that I'm asking for, honestly and truthfully. Uh, ma'am, okay. it's showing 92 uh, 94%. So I have done it on my own. So Okay, I will, I will talk to you in a while. All right, I'll talk to you in a while. Okay, the rest of you, thank you guys very, very much. Yes, I have a question. Is, is the summary where, where to see which part do I need to do? I, I didn't see the link of the, at, at the, at the, at the, at the. Yeah. Okay, wait, later I edit and then I will check it. You will be okay. able to see it soon, yeah? Thank you. Yeah, thank you. All right. Okay, thank you all very much, guys. You guys have fun, have some rest. Enjoy life. Take care, bye-bye. Miss, -bye. when do we get our results? Uh, what results, sorry? For this assignment. <laughs>